Okay, guys, welcome to the We've Been Drinking MMA podcast. We're going to be talking about the UFC 221 fight night predictions and uh, pretty much analysis. In the first fight of six, it's going to be the Vitor Petrino versus Anton Turkoj. Well, I'm lousy, by the way, and we are here with... Yep, and uh, I'm backhand, and we are predicting this fight. It's the first fight on the main card. And uh, I'm going to go with, you know what? I'm going to live dangerously. I'm going with Anton. He has eight takedowns a fight, and he's fighting a guy who doesn't take down people at all. So I'm going with Anton. So I'm uh, I'm gonna go with this fight. I'm I'm really not quite sure to be honest. Um, just because these guys are both uh, 25 and 26 years old. So um, these two though, uh, one of them's a striker, and then the uh, with all finishes on his record, he's got like five fights, all finishes in the first or second round. And then the other guy, Anton Turkalj, is a uh, he's a wrestler. Eight takedowns uh, per fight. So he's a grappler. Only one significant strike per minute. Uh, he really doesn't try and strike, but he's got good head. Heard that right. One. He's got one. One strike per minute. That's three strikes around. That's I mean that's nothing. So all all his offense is in the takedowns. But when when the other guy doesn't have any takedown defense, it's gonna be a problem. And uh, I'm going with Anton. So Anton. For and then the uh, and then the uh, the takedown defense and and uh, percentage that you looked up. What's the uh, takedown defense for uh, for Petrino? Petrino's, he uh, stuffs 66% of the takedowns, but when you have eight takedowns a fight, <laughs> you're still taking them down three times a fight. Right, right. So And uh, so the thing is, is that also, also um, Turkoj, um, he's the grappler. Uh, Turkoj, um, really, when he, uh, he doesn't literally, he doesn't go for like double legs or single legs. He's not going to go for your legs. He's just going to really just stand up and strike with you, but really not throw anything significant, but just enough feints to get you comfortable and then kind of get you out of your game. And then he'll just kind of, um, for lack of a better phrase, he just uh, kind of just grapples you by just basically bear hugging you almost and then taking you to the ground, the most simple, simple takedown. And then just kind of gets you on the side and then just, you know, drags you to the ground. But he's great at it. And the thing is, is that in the stand-up, he only has one significant strike per minute. So um, the thing, though, is is that his head movement is actually really pretty, pretty good. He definitely makes sure to not get hit. You know, he, he'll, uh, he does have good head movement. So even a guy like Petrino, who's got all KOs on his record, um, uh, Turkoj can, can basically go forward enough to back up uh, uh, Petrino. And Petrino was getting backed up in his last fight. Um, so Turkoj will be able to kind of get him against the fence, throw the feints, get the head movement going, and then, you know, take him down. And that's why we're going with Turkoj. Um, haven't seen too much of him, but like we said, sixty his he's got 70% takedown accuracy. The other guy's got 66% takedown defense. But eight takedowns per, per fight is just too much for basically anyone who is not that great. You need to have something at least 80 or 85% takedown defense in order to stop a guy who's taking you down eight eight fights, eight, eight takedowns per fight. So That's 100% true. Like, if you are stopping this guy consistently, he's going to try. He's not going to keep trying with the takedowns. But, like, um, I just read something like um, Turkoj has... He at least tries to end the fight once a fight. And Petrino only has not even one time um, as far as um, finishes per three rounds. Like 0.4 per three rounds and 0.8 per three rounds per fight. So so I think Turkoj, I don't think he's going to finish the fight. But like I think Turkoj is going to control this fight and win the fight. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not gonna put like big money on it or anything. I haven't really seen these guys fight too much, just or really their last fights, and then looking at the stats. Um, so it, it's 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 really one of those fights. It's small money or just kind of let it go for me. And time for the win. So thanks thanks for listening, guys.